Hi, my name is Teresa, and I'm a student at BC City. Do you mind if I take your blood? Absolutely. Can I have your name and your date of birth? Rachel Rose, 32880. Are you fasting? Yes. Are you allergic to anything? Nope. Okay, at this time, she's setting up her station. She's going to get her needle. She's going to get her hub. Um, she's pulling for an ALT, an AST, and a PT. So at that point, she's going to pull a light blue that's going to go to COAG and a gold that's um, going to go to chemistry. The ALT and the AST can both go in the same tube. Um, she, after she preps her station for the puncture, she's going to apply the tourniquet so that she can, um, so that she can pick a good site to do the puncture. Remember to only leave the tourniquet on for no longer than 60 seconds. Can you ball your fist, please? I'm gonna make a fist, mm -hmm. and at this time, she's gonna take her index finger and palpate the vein. Um, make sure to not use your thumb, because your thumb does have a pulse in it. You can use any of the first three fingers, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Once she finds the site, she's going to release the tourniquet, clean the site with um, isopropyl alcohol. She's going to clean in circular um, motion, discard the, the, the pad. Make sure you wait at least 30 seconds for the alcohol to dry so that you do not, one, um, hurt the patient because it can burn, and two, so that it does not affect the testing results of the um, test that you, are, that you are functioning for. She's going to engage the safety. She's going to check the bevel, the needle, to make sure that there's no spurs in it. Make sure that it's bevel up. She's anchoring the vein. And she's going to enter in at a 30 degree angle. Now she's going to make sure she does the blue first because COAG always goes first. The patient's going to release her. Um, fist, she's going to release the tourniquet, fill her tubes, make sure you invert the um, tubes once they are filled. She's inserting the second one. Invert the tubes. She's going to grab her gauze, put it over the needle site, pull out the needle, engage the safety, discard the needle in the sharps container. Make sure to apply pressure while inverting the tubes. Make sure you invert anywhere from five to eight times. Do not shake vigorously because this can um, this can create hemolysis. Yes. Hemolysis. Hemolysis. All right. So at this point is where she will label the tubes. So Teresa, what's the information that goes on the tube? It's going to be the patient's name, patient's date of birth, MRN number, which is the medical record number, the phlebotomist's name, uh, initials, the date, and time. Excellent.